All, All right. right. <clears throat> Welcome, Welcome back. back. Is this working? Do you guys hear me? I should be over here more. All right. Is, Is there an, an echo? echo? Mm hmm. Easy. All right. That's a known issue. Easy to fix. It's been a while. All right. <sighs> Unagizilla has subscribed for 19 months. I appreciate the support. I, I think I said in the Discord channel, people should just drop the subscriptions. Unless you want to just support the channel, but they're, like I'm not doing any more giveaways uh, for the time being. Uh sounds better thank you so i got a new uh pc i'm gonna thank uh pre-k pre-k pk poop kid um for the help in building one from scratch it's a it's a beast of a machine and uh but it has nothing had no obs stream labs none of that set up and so i started going through all this and it was just like climbing a mountain in terms of the information I did. So I just grabbed my old PC, hooked it back up. So I've got two PCs down here and uh, everything worked except the, uh, I need a new uh, streaming key. I think it's, uh, it's going to work otherwise. All right. So let's get started. Uh, today I'm going to work on a Batman illustration, uh, not just because we're celebrating his 80th anniversary, but because um, I do a charity piece every year. To benefit uh, a local school so I'm gonna do it on 11 by 17 paper here you can see it um, I'm not thank you guys for the the subs and the support I really appreciate it Giovanni good to see you got VZA in the house we got uh, Unagi Zilla quick draw 13 I don't know what time it is in Australia Jamie but thank you for uh, waking up I know that uh, it was getting progressively harder for those of you on that side of the world to tune in. I'm all set up here and I realized that one thing I don't have are artistic tools. So I'm just like with an easy reach. Um, oh no, I take that back. I have a mechanical pencil here. I really only need, so I found this. This is a um, 0.4 mechanical pencil and this is your standard number two pencil. I'm going to use I'm going to use this. Let me see if I can move this over here and get some more light. There we go. Got a lot of activity going on. I can hear it. Thank you guys all for your support. This light's not very cooperative. It doesn't want to. There we go. So on top of it, on top of all this, I haven't drawn a lot recently either. Um, hold on a second. There we go. I'll make myself a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, let me make sure I've got, I'm inside the, the frame here. Actually, I don't know what I said I was going to draw for this. I know it was going to be Batman, but let me see. Um, ask my wife what I agreed to do. Somebody cheered. I'm so far behind. I only have uh, I only s set up one monitor, so I might be a little behind. I don't know how I used to do this, honestly. 
Um, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Here we go. Thank you, Ronald Maxwell, for the raid of 13 people. That's cool. Got a raid right off the bat. Um, Mr. Raha, 99, thank you very much. Thank you, Angry Panda 88 for the bits. Efix has subscribed. Queen City Amusements. Old Broussard has cheered. Thank you very much. Trevor Kai as well. From Idaho? Where do you live, Trevor? Somewhere up there. Nebraska? Kirhiko, just subbing for the eyes or so. Yeah, I noticed that uh, you haven't been able to complete those sketches lately. Um, Eamon Winkle has uh, subscribed. Cynthia Yip has cheered. Thank you very much. A lot of regulars here. 22 Bonilla Cupcakes. Um, Bonilla Cupcakes, sorry. Um, Demi Dogs. Incompetent Chicken. Snaffle Shambles. Chuck Arnold 3000. Tully Hannes Elgerty. Wildstorm CCG. <laughs> um, D. Calvin. Crispy Egg Roll. Jeremy L. Joe. Uh, D, ba, 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 twin one, twin one, two DMS design. Thank you for the, the bits. Uh, Queen City Amusement, KB Bradshaw. Over a year of roasting, making Jim uncomfortable. Perfect. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Kirihiko and uh, I think Crispy Egg Roll in the house as our mods. Thank you very much for being here. Kanger Banger has resubbed. Mind Flock. Sketch 22. And uh, Hal Daddy, and uh, because I'm Batman as well. I'm sure I've missed some pandemics. Thank you very much for being here. I apologize if I haven't read your name out, um, but it's probably good to start uh, doing some work. All right. Just sending missives to my wife. Um, yeah, so I was going to do a cover, and I might, the next stream probably will be a cover. Uh, this one, as I said, I sw I've switched the focus of these streams, and it's going to be more about um, actual work I'm drawing, and it'll just be kind of done in secret. Like, I won't, well, this one I've identified what it is, but other ones I probably won't. It'll be a cover to a book, but I won't say exactly what book it is, although you could probably get, figure it out. All right, uh, Batman's 80th. What do people want? I always say like they want Batman like on a gargoyle. They want something classic, even though that they've probably seen that image a hundred times. You know, SM Car T three one three has resub. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Um, shooting a grappling hook. Our Gene has subbed. Thank you very much. You know, I thank you very much, actually, for all you guys that are resubbing. I mean, I, you know, I thought you guys were here for the, the free sketches. Maybe you're subbing in anticipation that they will return. But I do appreciate the support nonetheless. It's uh, very heartwarming. Actually, I had a very good uh, WonderCon uh, where I did a panel, a live panel in front of people. I hadn't done that in months. So it's always, uh, you know... Um, I don't know if I get anxious about it, but it's a thing where it's nice to take a break. And when you come back, you go, oh, this feels very comfortable. This feels, it's fun. It's actually fun doing it. So that was great seeing a lot of you guys live in person. We got together at WonderCon. I should probably put one of those pictures up online. But we had a get together uh, at uh, El Beppo, <laughs> Beppo, Buco de Beppo. All right, I'm going to draw this. Enough stammering and talking. What are we doing here? Um... I'm thinking Gargoyle and Batman. Batman's knee, thigh. Let's turn this up a little bit. I'm going to turn the mode to a blue white, a blue light there. And then I'm going to turn this one over to a yellow light. Fancy like that. All right. 
Is that a turkey? I don't know what that means. Alright. Uh, I don't normally construct a figure this way, but why not? I'm already hating this. But why not? Hmm. It's actually like the uh, Batman 608 cover I did. Just the camera moved from a side angle to more of a front angle. It's kind of an interesting idea. Let me see if I can make that happen. Uh, the tricky part will be, um, let's move this down here. It's getting kind of blown out. probably do is draw a little bit and then I'll address questions in chat so I'm not trying to do both at the same time maybe I don't like that all right let's talk about planes for a little bit so this is his torso it's kind of a George Bridgman kind of thing to do Uh, center line of the torso, midline, abs, down to the, the groin. Um, shoulder comes at that. The shoulder is hidden by the torso here. Where to put this arm? Fits down over here. It just looks like he's. pontificating huh <sighs> I don't like it if I put it over here um, I could have it I like the idea of a hand right here What's he doing? He's doing this. <laughs> um, Be Beliasa, thank you very much. Uh, huh. It's 80 years, what's he doing? Is he looking at his watch? be doing that. you be checking the time. <coughs> or you could be holding the cape across his chest. But I don't like that because then you can't see the bat symbol. Hmm. <laughs> what about the notion of him kind of looking a little over his shoulder like this, like he's looking down at the city that way instead of at us? Are the eraser, eraser shavings uncomfortable? Alright. Kanger Banger. Uh, Ian Glenn is actually playing Bruce Wayne. Slight distinction. But um, yeah, he's great. Great actor. 
Reminds me of uh, Richard Chamberlain back in the day. Actually, when I first saw Game of Thrones, I thought it was Richard Chamberlain. I was like, that's not possible. He could not have stayed this young for so long. All right. Hmm. Okay. So we have a slight three-quarter on the chest. Again, closer. I like this idea of the arm going back and then f forward. My fanny pencils. Okay, Crispy. <laughs> See, I don't have to roast Crispy. He just walks into some of these. Um, like I said, this is the closest pencil to this area. I've, I've got wired headphones, so I just can't easily walk around and find the art supplies I need to. <laughs> Getting closer. If you do wonder, um, do your skills deteriorate if you have not drawn for a while? The answer is most definitely. Okay, that looks pretty good. One second, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be at Motor City Comic Con, Jay Napier 13. Um, I think uh, Saturday only, and that is um, mid-May. And I'll be at Dallas Fan Expo uh, first weekend in May. And then Seattle mid-June. So I've got a bunch of shows lined up for the first half of the year. I'll be right back. All right, back. Yeah, Shazam was great. A lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen it, I urge you to do it. I have to remind you, I am an employee of DC, Warner Brothers. Um, but I've seen that movie like five times, and each time I genuinely laugh out loud. It's, uh, it's pretty hilarious. Okay. Um, 
I find that when you break up the body like this into kind of these planes, uh, it tends to kind of stiffen up the figure. So while you may be a kind of crystallizing structure, it um, actually kind of uh, makes the characters look less dynamic. <laughs> hey, superhero swimmer, all right? I wish I were paid to promote it. I guess technically I am. Wow, uh, the emotes are very large on the screen. Well, that's always been the case. Uh, hello, Mudfrost, welcome back. Yeah, we got like 880 concurrent. That's not bad for not having streamed in a while. I thought for sure I'd come back and there'd be no one here. I have to start all over. I have to find the next next gen crispy, next gen Kirihiko. But they are brave hearts, die hearts. We're fortunate to have them. All right, DMS Design, missed you guys, yeah. <laughs> Kirihiko, always on point with seeing the movies. So, uh, if, yeah, that's right, I remember. We couldn't discuss any movies because we couldn't spoil them. It was like uh, Last Jedi, uh, like six months later. Still, I have not seen it. Please do not discuss. Bitte warten. Thank you for the, the bits, Trevor. All right, let's see. Um, okay. Problem with like the 11 by 17 board is that uh, it's tough to fit into the whole frame. Maybe if I draw more sideways like this. Whoa, that light. Breaking down the shapes. Hmm. Uh, to blow Marvel, yes. I am a Star Wars fan. I definitely saw the trailer. Look good. Look really good. I'm very looking forward to the conclusion of the trilogy. With like a 0.4 pencil, is that it's very sharp, but it's it's like a same thing with 0.3. Is that it? Um, it's so sharp that it's hard to just kind of loosely pencil. It gives you more of a definitive line. I don't know about this gargoyle that has ears. Google a gargoyle to 
kind of reset my internal uh, vision of what a gargoyle looks like. I'm going to loosely lighten, <coughs> loosely erase all this up here and seek to add a little more dynamic movement. Maybe a little bit more exaggeration. Maybe. What about that? Bit of a turn. And then with this arm going back into space, um, uh, oh, hey, we have an elephant. He's back. Ren, are you at the DMV right now? We have we have all three mods back. Tony Lewis, thirty three. Uh, I'm sure I was. <laughs> Never gets old. Are you sure? Or always gets old. Gets older. Oh my gosh. All right. I like everything but that arm. I kind of like the idea that there's like this weird tilt to his body. And uh, it could be doing Elvis kind of thing. I did this cover, uh, a variation of this for a variant cover, New 52. But I think it was the other arm. Uh, Yen or Nikki. Nikki, thank you very much. I appreciate it. He could be. There were people asking for that grappling gun. Easy to put a grappling gun here. But that's such a specific kind of pose. Like, if I do this, it's kind of like a. Give negative space as I go around. Let me make sure it doesn't look like. It's Google Batman Two variant. I think it was. 
Okay, other hand. Great, not repeating myself. Always good to know. He could be holding a, 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 a battery. <laughs> More than half. Yeah, you're right. Probably not the best use of... All right, let me see. How's that? Happy now? The head of the Joker. Perfect. All right. I kind of like this. All right, and uh, gargoyle. Let's look up gargoyles. Let's see what they really look like. Hmm. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is do an upshot on the gargoyle. Even then, huh. that would be a bull guard. Uh, 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 uh. Some of these gargoyles are actually quite adorable. It's an amazing alien gargoyle. Uh, Charlie Parks has resubbed Rocket Eats. Kanger Banger has cheered. Thank you very much. Glad you liked the Kevin Smith story. Cynthia Yip has cheered. A thousand bits. Thank you very much. It's from your fiance, James. Congratulations, guys. We're in the process of planning our comic book themed wedding for next year. Both Marvel and DC Comics inspired. Well, that's cool. Are all the guests going to come in costume? That would be kind of cool. Wait, are all the bridesmaids and groomsmen? It's like one side Marvel, one side DC. I need to know more. All right. Is that a gorilla gargoyle? Uh, no. It could be. I haven't really decided it's going to be anything. I'm just I just broke down the structure, so it's vaguely humanoid. But you know, 
do that. I just heard this crazy s sound. Uh, Daniel J. Bosco. Sub meetup was great. Thank you. Glad you could make it. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Hyper Crush. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Any Pantheon MMO streams for the Horizon? You know, none planned, but I wouldn't mind doing it. I'll call up Brad and see what's going on. How's that game coming along? Let's just try for the sake of argument. That's a grappling gun. Sure, why not? I got a cheer for adding the grappling gun. <laughs> this is truly crowdsourced. Should be bubbles, yes, bubbles. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will put uh, buildings behind him, Gotham, and then they'll probably be black with stars here with some white behind his head, black with stars over there. Okay, pretty much done. How's the focus? Is it uh, going in and out of focus? I set it to manual, but I'm not sure if uh, it's stuck. Golf Boy Sunday, yes. Uh, yeah, it's almost done. Great. All right, while we wait for the pencils to dry, I can look, check out the stream here. Um, yes, almost done for sure. Crispy says, you seem to be more focused this stream than previous streams. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm always focused. Always focused. <laughs> Quick, distract him with food. 
Uh, Russell, Russell Sheath, Russell Sheath. What are you gaming right now? Not right, well, these days. Uh, Apex Legend, when I have a chance. It's like a, a quicker, faster hit of PUBG. I, I think skills start deteriorating in a week. Captain Noah FTW. Jim, haven't you drawn this pose before? I've drawn every pose before. Parademon2759. Can Koreans join DC Comics? There's only room for one Korean. I'm sorry. There's plenty. Frank Cho is Korean. Jay Lee is Korean. Greg Pak is half Korean. Uh, I'm sure there are others that I'm forgetting. Mike Choi is Korean. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for the bits, Chief Corb. Mud Frost. Was it Apex that got bad reviews? I think you got it wrong. Oh, here's a... I'm using this for inking. This is the, was an earlier Shazam piece I started. I didn't like... It's like a more realistic face, and so I kind of abandoned it. I wanted more, something a little cartoony. So I stopped with that one. All right. Um, is it scary to go to inks? Maybe. Let's do this. Give ourselves a little bit more of a blueprint, safety net. All right. Ready to go. See you later, DJ Mittens. I don't know what's more pressing than this, but have a good time. Nova Prime X, X Bamfart. Brandon Louise Ruiz, Louise 19, Pandemus, Ventriloquist, Charlie Parks, Russell's, uh, a lot of regulars. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I need glasses. Jeez. That helps a lot. Being able to see what you're drawing, highly, highly recommend it.
see I'm kind of drawing by pieces because uh, I'm still measuring it up as opposed to just kind of, there are no pencils really, I'm just drawing with ink. Probably not the wisest thing to do. But I'm still doing a lot of mathematical kind of comparisons. Riding up a little high, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it because the shadow's going to go this way. And because of that, when I go into this area, it's all going to go to black anyway. Thank you very much for the donation, Chris. We got a raid here from MGN Nike. Thank you very much for welcome in all the people that uh, have come through. It's hard for me to read the screen with these glasses on so I can only do one or the other so apologies if, if I'm not doing anything for a little bit This eye is all messed up, but I'm going to white it out anyway. Let's see how that looks here. I think what I need is... Uh, kind of a sense of where all this is going to go here in the center area.
This is a 0.4 micron. <clears throat> I'm barely trying to touch the surface to get the thinnest line possible. Just kind of building up my values here. Sorry, can't see it. Golf Boy Sunday, do you still wear bulb caps, Jim? Haven't seen you wear one in a long time. Usually when I go to bed, I try to pop one on, just forces you to sleep on your back. Good for your lumbar support. All right, um, that would be dad humor right there. I couldn't help it. I just ref reflexively could not stop myself. Sorry. All right. Probably need a pencil a little bit more. Why he is in the house. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fix that eye, get rid of it for now though, it's throwing off my, uh, <coughs> I think I decided I'm going to do most of this with the uh, Micron um, as opposed to, like sometimes I'll go in and spot uh, shadows and stuff with the brush early on. Let's see what happens if I just 
render this as much as possible with the micron to start. Where that kind of leaves me. Knowing, of course, that the light source is over here. Kind of a thinner, lighter Batman. <clears throat> More humming. I'm this close to breaking out in song. All right, what do we got? <clears throat> Jaren asks, how long did it take before you're comfortable going straight into inks as quickly as you do? I started, unfortunately, very early in my career, after my first year. I was uh, pencil and inking Punisher War Journal, so I was doing a lot of what I'm doing now, which kind of good and bad. I think um, it's bad in that um, sometimes you can really screw up the structure, um, like I did with the face a bit. Um, but it does give you a energy to your line than traditional kind of full pencils and then inking over full pencils. All right. Oh. Not good. It's very runny. Okay. I think the other eye should be like right, right about there. Now the problem with using whiteout is that you can no longer look at it reversed through the. Um, Through the uh, through the light. Okay, that gives me enough. Uh, that would be correct, KB Bradshaw. That is the one liberating thing about kind of pencil inking your own work is that uh, it's a lot, it's very easy to fix your messes. No. 
now we'll jump to the gun. Huh, more dead humor. Jump to the gun, jump the gun. Just in case you want to know, I, I write all my own material. There's no one that helps me with this. Uh... <laughs> I beg you, please. Oh my god, my eyes. What the heck is happening? Mother Nature. I don't know if there are any people that are older than me in this stream. But if you are near my age, you can appreciate what I'm belly aching about. There are some benefits, though. Like, uh... I don't have to clip my toenails anymore for whatever reason. <laughs> they stop growing. Unlike my sons, my five-year-old, the seven-year-old, I mean, I, I think every three days they're like quarter inch long. It's crazy. KB Resha, yes, gross. Later in life, you'll... Yo, <laughs> Roy Batty, weird flex, but okay. Yeah. Chunky Style 3030, thank you for the sub. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Um, Giovanni, your stream has good value. Thank you very much for the bits. Uh, appreciate it. Um, DM me on the feedback, the art. I, I, if it's good, it sucks. Working the legs. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's the best way to communicate, but I um, should probably put in the Discord channel, to be fair. Put in the... I think they're here where he goes, set up a section for just art. My son loves to peel half of his nail off, then let me have him finish it so that I'm the bad guy. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I remember as a kid, that was just an awful feeling, right? Whenever um, your parents like clip your, your fingernails. And my parents, oof, they, they would cut super short, super down to the... It was not pleasant. I'm not sure if this eye is in the right place, but I will mentally believe it is for the time being, and I'll take a look at it later when it's all said and done. Einstein Jinson at Gantanoka. It's a fancy art school in Louisiana. Congrats. Just want to say thanks for being an inspiration. You're awesome. Hey, have a great uh, time at art school. Cannot think of a better time to spend your early formative years.
Loser 832. Yeah, I could do that. And I have. I also have a mirror right over here. Um, that's actually even faster. Some, sometimes the old ways are faster. I don't know if you guys have caught any of the Batman 80 celebrations. Obviously, Detective 1000 was a big part of it. Um, they're re-releasing a bunch of the movies. Tim Burton, Christopher Nolan movies. And then um, there's other activations planned, which will be announced. If you go to Batman80, the number 80.com, I think it has a continual kind of list that they're updating. And one of the things I get to do is our heroes, taking the hero to the heroes. Going to visit some, some military bases. That's coming up. So I'm excited for that. I've never done anything like that, so. Can't share the locations or where I'm going. As uh, the classified. Skate mir gut. Danke, the red fid different. Jaren, after all these years, yeah, uh, everything, <laughs> everything is a struggle <laughs> at times. I'd say the only time it's super easy to draw is towards the end of a deadline when you've been drawing like nonstop for like days after days, just kind of flying by, kind of muscle memory, all the 
stuff that normally kind of gets triggered when you're drawing, stuff that tells you like, no, nah, that doesn't look right, redo it. It gets kind of blunted or kind of stepped on because you're just trying to, you're in that zone. You either don't see it or you don't want to see it. And uh, the pages go easier. They just have more energy. All right. Shave down that arm a bit. You know, I was watching some how-to videos um, on YouTube. There's a lot of artists out there. And uh, you know what struck me is that watching someone draw something or paint something and learning how to do it or watching and understanding conceptually what's going on. Like, oh, I see blue paint going over flesh colored paint I see a kind of um, you know modeled or blended in together I see how it creates a pleasing kind of abstract version of an eye that my mind reads as an eye uh, but whether I can sit down and do it myself probably 100% no And then I started thinking about um, why that is and how that could be changed. And I thought, um, probably because, one, it's going too fast, and two, they're not explaining why they're making the decisions they're doing. And three, it's kind of overwhelmed by all the other information you're taking in on the rest of the panel. Like, um, you know, sometimes you go, oh my gosh, I'm drawing or painting an eye. So it immediately, you're carrying all this sort of expectation of what you're creating should look like, you know, same way if you're drawing Batman. Right. Thank you very much for the subs. Rate, uh, rate DPG, Ivazar1, Super Mario 507, JB, J, PJ Bicer. W-Y-Zer. Um, so it's, it's good to see some new people here. Um, 
Yeah. I do have my Wacom Cintiq. I haven't set it up. Um, thank you, Sandalthani, for the sub. Yog the Thug. How often do you draw in a day? Uh, I haven't drawn in quite a while. Um, but if you're a professional artist, you should be drawn every day. Why not? You have a gift? Use it. All right. right. Let's. right. I'm going to start... Making some bigger areas. So I see what I've got here. Charlie Parks. How many Red Bulls a day does your wife let you have? My wife. I, I controlled my own Red Bull in, ingestion. I was really loving those uh, yellow ones. The flavor of those are great. But I only do it usually if I'm under a tight deadline. I don't, I don't think, my understanding is that they're not like the healthiest things to kind of drink, but it kind of motivates me, um, when, um, when, uh, I don't have that urge to kind of stay awake and it's just easier to kind of lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> that yellow Red Bull will kind of help you out. There we go. Let's just pretend I'm doing it again. Here, hold on, sorry. There, that's what you missed. Never been to Portugal. One of the few um, European countries I have not been to. See, uh, we'll often just smear out over the uh, stuff already drawn. I will come back and white out, fix that. Even as I kind of got obliterated. But you know what? values. A 
small cloth. No, it, it's just... I usually eat Kleenex, toilet paper, whatever. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, boy. All right. Let's finish off some more details here. We need some buildings. Collier 0412. We'll let that pass. We will let that slide. Uh, super sw super swimmer superhero swimmer art yes there is a song I am humming there's no way you'll be able to tell based on the horrible inability of my of me able to sing
<laughs> Let's see what the uh, All right. Sea rat. I think I'm going with the flow, which might not have been the best decision. Going with the flow always means that you might uh, screw things up. Or as we call it, do the crispy. But, you know, it's more fun. It's more entertaining. And, uh, so, <laughs> uh, I'm using myself. All right. Yeah. You know, when you screw up, you go, oh, God, I just did the crispy. What the heck? All right. Uh, Jedi Batman 85 has sub. Plinio Marcos has sub. Ego Bird. Someone's very curious if I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> yes, these are uh, French. This is the French. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Can't. You cannot. Can you see it? Not. Can't see it. It's uh, the French uh, rooster. French soccer. Coolettes, yes, they're coolettes. I'm wearing coolettes. Say F F F underneath.
I'll be watching Game of Thrones for sure tonight. And my Tyrion Lannister cosplay. Got it all set up. I, uh, I think I mentioned that I was going to... I had only seen the first season, which I really liked, and then when I started watching the second season a little late, I was very confused as to all these new characters they were introducing, so I couldn't make it past two or three episodes of sec the second season. I tried like two or three times, so I, all this other time with all these other things going on, the Red Wedding, all the shame, all that stuff, I missed it, missed out. And uh, I knew that uh, it was building towards this epic conclusion, so my wife and I vowed to try one more time. And so we pushed on. We started from the very first season, rewatched that, and uh, it was amazing how much of the um, how much of the uh, the characters and the world they they actually introduce in that even the first several episodes you just don't pick up on it because it's just too much information but they drop you in right away um yeah and then the other secret which really won't help anyone here because there's no way you're gonna get caught up in the night is um we start watching it with subtitles on closed captioning and that really helps a lot because uh you can actually see the names typed out especially like the more foreign sounding names, which um, just don't stick in your head as a name until you see it written out. I, I don't use Sharpies for illustration, really. The, they, they fade and they're not great, you know. So even if you can hear it, to, to see the actual names typed out made a huge difference. That's what I'm trying to say. So at this point, I feel very um, up to speed with it all. One with a lot of shadows, lots of shadows.
This brush could uh, hold more ink. It's not a very good brush. Um. Hello from France. Um, I have not seen uh, Santa Clarita Diet. It's hard to stay current with all the shows that are out there. Greetings from Germany. Hello, Germany. It's very late in Germany.
I want there to be even more <clears throat> black uh, shadows on this piece. like that con contrast of the black wing against the um, li underlit city behind it. All right, so that's kind of nice. That gives me an opportunity to throw a little more ink onto the page. Where else? Where else can I put more ink? I think right about here, here, here. Oh, that could be thicker, sorry. Daniel J. Newman. I uh, have good art brain. Hmm. Thanks, thanks. Thank you for the bits right now and later. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't like that angle. I think it should be more this way. Grumpy just subscribed. Very cool. Thank you, Dr. Grumpy. Hmm. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. smooth out that cape a bit. All right, <clears throat> so other areas that need some immediate attention. But first, let's erase some of the pencil lines so I can go in and render and add some white out. of wet ink here and there. <sighs> Alright, so I see this level of gray I've got here. I want to carry this through and kind of darken it so it goes black, black here. The areas that we white over here, I'm gonna add some white out here. And then this will fade into black. But this is kind of the um, the high contrasty version of, right? Once I go in with the, the, the detail, it's gonna just get, um, yeah, you're just gonna see it kind of, uh, right, a super high contrast. Now, everything I add at this point will add gray, the middle values. At the end, there's going to be some rain and splatter, and it's just going to be this smorgasbord of uh, visual activity. But for now, let's um, add some, some quads. There. I'll fix this again. Let's add that eye back in there. Pop that back in. Got the, the gun here. The Grappling gun.
Okay. Here we go. All right. We're going to start by evening out. Ears. That eye area is not dry yet, so I'm going to wait till it's finished. Okay. Hey, what's up? Back on the computer. Oh, uh, ask Mama. Mom said to ask you. Okay, when I'm done, I'll come find you, okay? All right? Okay. If it's this on, I'll uh, just... What? Right. If it's this on, I'm just going to go on it for no Da, da, da. Um, thank you for subscribing right now and later. That was Jackie. Jackson. He's our five-year-old, and he plays Fortnite. He's pretty good at it, actually. On the keyboard. So let's start creating a grad right here. That kind of follows the muscles there. The kneecap down to the shin. Down to the calf here. So now there's better sort of balance between the top and bottom. And we'll do the same thing over here. So, I don't know if you can tell, right? Forget the cyborg guy, okay? What? Huh? What are you doing? I'm drawing. What are you doing? Just waiting for you to what? Huh? I'm waiting for you to set up my computer. Yeah, it'll be a little bit, okay? Okay. All right, just go wait. Uh, how many minutes? Um, 348 minutes. No, that can be all morning. Okay. <laughs> it's afternoon already. How about um, 15 minutes? Hmm? 15 minutes? Do you know what 15 minutes is? 10 to 60, 15 times. 10 times 60 times 15 times? Is that what you said? No. I said um, you have to count to 60... Um, 15 times. 60, 15 times, that's right. Okay. All right, I'll... St one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
three, four. I'm running out of time. <laughs> Eggs. Da, da, da. Well, what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna stop. And uh, maybe, should I go ahead and finish it and then just post up the results, or do you guys want me to finish it on a stream? But I should probably get going. I have uh, dad responsibilities here. We lock all the kids out of the computers because otherwise they would never do anything else but game. And we've already made the horrible decision to let our five-year-old play video games. Probably should finish the eye for now, yeah. No, it's been like one minute, yeah. So you got fourteen left. All right. All right. Let's let's finish this eye. What I got for now, and then uh, even here, I feel like go a bigger, bolder kind of line here. Feels a little bit like Ronan. If you ever read that uh, Frank Miller series, it's awesome. If you haven't read it, when it came out, I didn't quite understand. It. I was probably too young for it. But in the years uh, since I've reread it several times, uh, it's awesome. It's a great bit of storytelling, a lot of fun. And then the uh, there's this uh, pull out rap pull out fold uh, that we kind of replicated again in All-Star Batman and Robin which just blew me away as a you know as a teen you know what I come in here let's fix this head by make the head a little smaller, that'll make his body look bigger. See what happens when that happens there. That helps a bit.
Uh, Fan Expo Canada. I think I'll be there one day, maybe two. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. That's in August. So um, just give you a rundown uh, again. Um, my next show is in Dallas, which is, um, I think, a half day on Saturday, May. Hold on. May 4th, and then half day on the 5th, and that's Fan Expo Dallas. And then two weeks later, on the 18th, I'll be at Detroit Motor City Comic Con for um, morning and mid uh, till mid-afternoon. And then mid-June, I think on Father's Day, I'll be in Seattle for a Comic Con up there. Actually, Polypup or something, Poly, Polypup probably mispronouncing it. It's, it's a bit south of Seattle, I believe. And then um, San Diego Comic-Con, mid-July, of course. And then third week in August, I believe, is Fan Expo in Toronto, 23rd, 24th, 25th. And then in October is New York Comic-Con. And that's what I've got so far. Okay? All right. Um... Yeah, so there's still more. Look, I've probably got, realistically, another three hours left in this piece. I've got to go in. Here, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and add detail here. So I'll go in and clean it. Like, I'll take these kind of very blunt sort of shadows and uh, make it look like I actually filled in a trapped space versus just kind of using a, the side edge of a brush. And then I'll add little bits of rendering like this add texture and to kind of fool the eye again into seeing heavy shadows. Just adding a little more finesse to these shapes so they turn into things as opposed to just kind of white and black shapes on a page. So uh, that in itself will probably take like half an hour to an hour depending and then I want to add uh, rain and splatter. There's going to be rain coming this way. Um, so there's all sorts of polish that I have to go around. So even like this texture or this, this level of rendering, this see this dark gray right here? This dark gray into black. I'm going to transition it through here, into here, and also into here. So there's just more kind of general modeling that has to go around, just um, balancing out the gray values through cross-hatching, right? Like this. Okay. Um... And then there's going to be rain lines going this way, and then splatter. i got to do uh, whiteout effects here in the windows of the buildings. And I'll probably do a grappling gun line with whiteout and ink kind of going off here. So there's stuff, stuff to be done. So, um, But I will do it on stream probably later this week, probably midweek in the evening, just because uh, I need to get this done, and I've got some other work I've got to do. Um, but yeah, this is the new format. I'm actually killing two birds with one stone. Um, and uh, get to stream and also get deadlines taken care of. Whereas before, couldn't do it. All right, I want to thank the mods, uh, Kirihiko and Crispy Egg Roll and Ren Elephant um, for their support. Um, we will still raid somebody. So let me check and see what we got going on here. Um, uh, shoot, I'm on, uh, this computer is my son's, so, uh, I gave it to him, so now I can, oh, no, I can check, I can check here, sorry, I was like, this is not my Discord channel, um, Let's see what the mods where we're going to go raid. For those of you who are new, we like to go and kind of drop in 
couple hundred or several hundred um, people in another art or creative stream. Kind of spread the love, share the love, introduce you guys to other people. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's been a long time, but it was a lot of fun and uh, kept it pretty mellow. And again, thank you all for your subs, your support, and uh, for tuning in. All right, so let's go check out this other streamer here. And I will see you guys later in the week. Check out the Discord channel. Um, that's where all the uh, latest info on streams will be. And uh, yeah, there'll be something midweek just because. Uh, and then also probably this weekend. I've got stuff. I have stuff. Deadlines. Deadlines. Always deadlines. And uh, I always see things I want to fix. Anyway. All right. So thank you guys.